everyone. I'm Audrey Wise with Journey Realty Group, brokered by eXp here in Asheville, North Carolina. Did you know that indie brokerages and team leaders are one of the largest demographics moving to eXp right now? That's because the business model benefits everyone. You can keep your branding, keep all your tools, and keep your office space, but lose the headaches and everyone wins. Today, I am interviewing Susan Duncan of High Vistas Realty, now brokered by eXp, to find out what motivated her to bring her team over to eXp Realty. She's one of the largest teams in the Southeastern United States that has recently joined eXp just within the last six months, I believe. Tune in to hear what inspired her and motivated her to bring her team to eXp and to find out how that transition went for her. Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me today. I have here with me Susan Duncan, a dear friend, and um, she has just joined eXp within the last six months, mm -hmm. I'd say. So I want to talk to her a little bit today about her transition and about what motivated her or led her to join eXp. Um, so why don't we start with a little bit of background about you and okay. just tell me a little bit about your real estate days before eXp okay. and then what led you to choose to join eXp. Okay, excellent. Um, I got into my ba my background is in social work, which kind of goes well with with real estate, yes, <laughs> since we do a lot of social work. But um, my background is in social work, and I was I got my real estate license in '06. Um, I was with Coldwell Banker a couple of years, and I was a top producer with them. And then in 2009, I chose to open up my own franchise. So I went and looked for an agent-centric franchise, opened it up, and um, and grew the company to about 130 agents with two offices. After many many years of looking at EXP and trying to see how I can make it work and um, I moved my firm up and probably about 100 agents came with me over to EXP so we are now High Vistas Realty with two offices powered by EXP that is awesome yes so tell me what attracted you to EXP as a broker owner and having all these agents under you what was the, the drawing factor or maybe there was more than one but what attracted you to EXP a lot of people think being a broker owner is a really cool thing. They think that's a, a cool thing to be able to own your own office. It is a lot of hard work. It is. It is 24-7 hard work. And, the, and, and if you have a larger office, it, it doesn't mean you're making more money. It just means you have more responsibilities. It means you have more expenses. Okay. But the profit margin doesn't go up as the numbers go up. I hate to tell you that. Because your so, expenses go up at the same time. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, your expenses go up, your training, I mean, everything goes up, and your stress level goes up, right. okay? Because um, your liability goes up. So um, so what I did was I had been looking around, and EXP was, is now the most agent-centric office there is, agent-centric mm -hmm. firm. And so what I did was I turned around, and I figured out, along with my, um, the, my, uh, sponsor and my dear friend Jason Schimpal and then John Mikish um, who is my business coach one year um, they helped me figure out how to make it work with two brick and mortars I did not want to give up my culture I did not want to give up my brick and mortars I still wanted to pick my agents I love helping agents be successful Melissa Zerberini at my North Asheville office and my broker up there she loves helping her agents she pours into them so we wanted to keep that but at the same time we needed to lighten the load we couldn't keep handling all the heavy lifting writing all the checks doing all the training just all of the heavy lifting and so that is where exp has all everything that you need to have your own company you can join exp and for 85 dollars a month and 149 dollars startup fee any agent can have their own company and that's huge that to me huge. that is huge i mean you don't you don't start a company for that little bit you have all the platforms you need when i was with my other company i had to buy my website i had to buy my platforms those things weren't provided to me here with exp they're provided for you that's huge and they take the liability Yes, oh. yes, they provide the E&O insurance. Yeah, mm -hmm. and just a lot of the day-to-day -day runnings. I know you have that still here with your brick and mortars. Um, well, they write all, my, all, the, all, the, all the checks, the commission mm -hmm. checks. We do about 60 to 70 closings a month. Mm -hmm. My business manager was spending uh, 60 to 50, I mean, I'm six, 50 hours a week writing checks yeah. and checking commissions and now exp does that right and so th that freed her up where she could do other things and she could spend more time with my agents mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so how was the transition for you i know that 
it was probably a little bit bumpy. Yes. Um, oh, so. tr bring it onboarding a hundred agents. If it, if it, you know anywhere mm -hmm. is just a hard road when you're getting your onboard, you're changing them into the MLS, you're changing them on the board, all the paperwork that's involved doing the onboarding with EXP. It's it, it was challenging. It really was. It took probably a good sixty days to get everybody over. Right. But at the same time, um, it was and 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 then it was challenging just making sure all the little nuances. There's a lot of moving parts mm -hmm. between EXP, MLS, the boards. It's a lot of moving parts. And just to make sure that everything was a well-oiled machine, thankfully, with the support of my staff of, of um, Jerry Spangler and Melissa Zerberini and then Kathy Clark and Jill and then um, Adam Brooks, my trainer, mm -hmm. who also does my IT, huge. Could not do it without them. Yeah. They, were, they were very helpful in helping me and we would, I mean, we probably had powwows every other morning. We have mm -hmm. a, a morning meeting. Okay, what are we working on? What do we need to work on? What do we, who, you know? And then EXP was a huge support as yeah. well. They were there every step of the way helping me. Um, Jerry Farrell, our regional big, he was also there and helped and mm -hmm. guided me in where I needed to go. Yeah. So I know that um, EXP does have agents um, other elsewhere in the country who will come here and actually help brokers get set up with EXP and help with that transition. Mm -hmm. um, so, and I encourage any broker that's thinking about it, and I strongly encourage brokers to do that, to reach out to someone who has done it and hear, right. hear about it, because a lot of things I probably could have done differently if I had done more homework, mm -hmm. but at the time, I was probably, I was one of the largest firms they had ever sent over, I had transferred over in the Southeast at least. Yeah. I know now there's groups of 300 agents coming over, right. out, out west and right. such. It's super exciting. And I think indie brokers and team leaders are one of our biggest demographics joining right now. Mm -hmm. um, I think they talked about that at the XPCon, which I think is really awesome. So yes. um, with, with that being said and the transition, and I know you're still kind of ironing out some of those kinks and getting through that process, but do you feel like it's been worth it so far? Yes. Yep, you're already with, seeing the benefits oh, of gosh. being with the XP. Yes, would not look back. Would not look bad. The um, yes, the, the the good far outs outweighs the the hurdles. You know, uh, uh, it was hard seeing agents leave. Agents that had been with me a very long time. Um, agents don't like change. Right. They don't. They will sit on a nail and they will whine before they will change. And and I'm not that way. If I don't like something, if I'm not happy, I'm going to change it. I mean, to me, that's just change is in, inevitable. And in my opinion, your success is on the other side of comfort zone. Exactly. And so you've got to get out of that comfort zone if you're going to be successful, if you're going to challenge yourself. And so I kind of, um, I, I, I'm not going to say it's fun to change, but at the same time, I know it's needed if I'm going to grow myself in right. any any aspect of my life. If I'm going to lose weight, I've got to make change. If I'm, I mean, whatever. If I'm going to have a better marriage, we're going to, we got to make change. I mean, it's mm -hmm. just inevitable. So, um, so to me, that w that was very important. One of the reasons why um, I moved over to EXP, and I, and one of the reasons why I haven't looked back, is a my production has not gone down. Mm -hmm. Even though I lost agents, we have brought on more than we've lost, and our production is even higher than it was, which is huge. And I contribute that a lot to the collaboration amongst EXP agents across the country through platforms like Workplace mm -hmm. that we have, which is like our version of Facebook, where we can, if we have questions, we can ask, um, and we can find groups that are working on luxury homes. If you want to, you can find, gosh, you can just put in listing presentations, and you will find over over a thousand listing presentations right there at your fingertips. Just freely to look up. shared. Yes, freely yeah. shared. Always sharing. Mm -hmm. That collaboration I it really helps the agents. The certifications that are at on the EXP platforms that the agents can take advantage of. Just so many resources they have access to. Yeah. So um so that was that was huge. The growth as in the expansion. A lot of companies join are joining EXP because of the fact that now if you if you want to grow if i want to grow my company if i wanted to grow my my former firm i had to only grow it where there was other offices for that particular franchise now i can grow anywhere in the country or in the world, so, or the world. as long as you can yeah. speak the same language yeah. yes so yeah. expansion was huge because and I, I i'm finding myself using the word huge a lot expansive was 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 very important to me mm -hmm. 
because now I already have one agent. She called me last night. She was so excited. She's already she's already sponsored her fifth agent into it and uh, into this company, and none of them are within a 60 mile radius of Asheville. They are all in other states. Yeah, that's so exciting. Yes, that is so exciting. And, and I'm just and, and and that's one of the benefits of it. So all of my agents have that opportunity. Right. And the different tr um, types of revenue share that they have access to is huge. Mm -hmm. the revenue streams. Right. And that is very important in our in our in our country right now, or in our business, is that we have different ways to make money in our industry. Right. right. You can, you cannot just work with transactions. You cannot be a transaction agent and be successful in this company, company for in, in the next five years. Mm -hmm. You are going to have to diversify and find other ways to make money. Right. Right. And with EXP, you've got the stock options that you can that you're awarded first yes. of all for mm -hmm. reaching different milestones. Um, you can also buy at a discounted rate mm -hmm. then with your commissions. The, yes, and then you've got the revenue share, which mm -hmm. is open to everyone. Um, lots of different ways to make money. You got the, um, the, a lot of my agents have taken advantage of the mentor mm -hmm. certification. Mm -hmm. Some of my more experienced agents, so they are men now mentoring agents outside of my company in North Carolina. Right. That they are mentoring and they're making money um, off of their first that agent's first three deals yes. by mentoring them and helping those agents get a very solid foundation. Right, that yeah. is so huge, very important. I, that's one of the things I love about EXP is like you were saying before, the collaboration and the support. You just, all of the agents within EXP, they want to help each other succeed. Mm -hmm. You know, and they're going to share all of their knowledge. These top producing agents, icon agents, um, are sharing everything that's worked for them um, because as F each agent succeeds, then EXP as a whole also succeeds. That's right. And we all do better. Our bottom line to grow when the company grows. So exactly. it's just it's wonderful to be a part of a company where the agents help other agents and there's so much teamwork and collaboration. Can't find, I haven't found it anywhere else. Yes, um, I agree. I have agents who come to my firm, and this is this was prior to EXP, and I think this is probably something I grew that was important to me and the culture of my company mm -hmm. is that we were very team oriented, and that's one of the, one of the things that attracted me to EXP is that because they they have a very strong idea of team orientation amongst mindset team mindset amongst their agents and that collaboration. And so, um, but a lot of agents will come in and even now and, and seeing what EXP has to offer says, uh, it, it, it wasn't this way at my other firm. It was very competitive. Right. Everybody was very guarded, shields up, don't share anything because you're gonna, you know, just, that means you're gonna be more successful than I am. Mm -hmm. And it's not like that here. Yeah. We, if, if you're successful, we're all successful. All sh Adam, my trainer says, all ships rise on the tide. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I, love I love that phrase. That. I love that too. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. Is there anything else you would want people to know or that you would want to share about your journey and your transition? And, um, you know, I'm just thrilled that you're here with all of your agents and that it's been beneficial and, and you're happy with that move. I think that's uh, great. Thank you. Um, I will say, and we were talking about this a little bit before, about the future of EXP and where yes. we see it going. Right. And, um, I, and, and my belief is that um, we're growing by a thousand agents a, a, a week easily, mm -hmm. but my belief is that we are, I'm talking about the um, the EXP firm is nationally because we are one firm, right. uh, well totally. growing substantially, but I see us taking the market of Western North Carolina. Mm -hmm. In the next two to three years, EXP is going to dominate this market. Mm -hmm. And that is something that is, I think is very exciting. And we uh, love to see more agents come on board to make that happen. Um, throughout us. Western North Carolina, <laughs> give Audrey a call. Yes, please do because um, she is an amazing agent. She does an awesome job. You were, you were, uh, well, we won't mention your prior firm, but um, you were a top producer there, and you came over and you have just taken this and run with it. And what's the name? Because you can brand yourself with EXP, right? So, what's so the name my is? team name is Journey Realty Group. Mm -hmm. um, now, if you were to join EXP with me, that doesn't necessarily mean you would also be Journey Realty Group. You could if you want, yeah, but don't have to. So you could come on and be your own brand. That's 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 the other thing I love about EXP is you, like Susan, she's got the High Vistas Realty. Mm -hmm. That is her brand. She has her own logo and everything. Yes. Um, and so do I with Journey Realty Group. So you can do your own thing. And I think that's just amazing. Whereas, yes. you know, other firms, you just not, you can't do it. You yes. can't do that. And that was one of the things I struggled with at my other firms, even though I was happy there. I learned a lot. I, you know, I'm not going to bash any of them because no. I definitely learned tons of stuff everywhere I was before EXP, but I always wanted to kind of do my own thing and have my own branding and that kind of thing. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's just awesome to be able to do that with EXP. So it's yes. just, they're so agent 
focused and supportive mm -hmm. of their agents and they want every one of us to succeed. And yes. It's just a fantastic thing. What? Why is branding so important, Audrey? To me personally or just in general? To, to a realtor. Why is branding yourself so important as opposed to branding a firm? I feel like that's a true question. <laughs> Well, the um, the NAR came out with a report of a seller buyer profile in November, okay. and um, it's on NAR. Any realtor can get it. I'm happy to share it with you. I sent it out to my agents last week. But one of the stats it mentioned is that only one percent of clients, of buyers and sellers, follow the brand of the firm. Mm -hmm. Ninety nine percent of buyers and sellers go with the agent and not the brand, yeah. and that's why it's important to brand yourself because wherever you go you are the they're, they're going to find audrey wise mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so like uh, my 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 uh, website is susanduncan.com mm -hmm. and wherever i go in this world if i retire from real estate and i be, decide i want to you know, i win the lottery want to move to a honolulu or whatever susanduncan.com and they will find me yeah because i'll have a website there for whatever i'm doing yes. so so that in branding yourself is very important because that's where because you want people to remember you right and, and it's the this, connections that you're making Exactly. And your personality is your relationship with other personalities. Yes. Yes. So yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily follow the brand. Yeah. You follow the person. That's right. They follow the relationship. Yeah. Who they're connected with. Because people, if people know you and trust you, they will do business with you. Right. Right. So yeah. Right. So stay in touch with that, that those past clients, and you do a great job of that. Oh, thank you. Yes, I try. You do. I'm not you do. as consistent as I need to be, but. Uh -huh. Yeah, I great job. You pop eyes. <laughs> see well, you. thank you very much. I appreciate your being on. And um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out and to either one of us. We'll be glad to answer your questions. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Audrey, for the You're opportunity. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yes. Enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Would you be interested in seeing what the numbers look like for you and your team or your brokerage? If so, reach out to me and I will get you on a call with our growth financial specialist. And she will look at all your numbers and break it down for you and show you exactly what it would look like if you moved your team to EXP and how it could benefit you as well as each of your agents. If you want to learn more, please reach out to me. I love talking about all things EXP. It can change your life.